Hi, I'm Shelly from Dancing Dogs Yoga, and I'm here at the Georgia Aquarium to take you through a short beginner yoga class. So come onto your mat into child's pose, and I'm gonna give you two options to start out with. First is, and this is the way that if you can, I want you to do it, bring your knees really wide to the outer edges of your mat, sink your hips back towards your heels, and then reach your fingertips out of the front, head towards the earth. If this is way too much in your hips, you can also bring your knees together and do the same thing. Head towards the ground, fingertips straight out in front or even down by your side. So find the resting pose that works for you and we'll start right here. Drop your head towards the earth and turn on your breath. So start to breathe in and out through your nose. Now imagine when you breathe in that you're filling all the way up. When you exhale, pretend that you're fogging up your mat. Do a So do that again. Breathe in through your nose. Open up your mouth and fog. One more time, just that way. Breathe in through your nose. Fog up your mat. And then close your lips and try to make the same sound. This is called ujjayi breath. Do it one more time. Breathe in. And out. And keep that breath going as much as you can. Walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Even come off your mat onto the floor, drop your head. So press down into your left hand and with your right fingertips, reach forward even more so that you can stretch the right side of your body. Take a few more breaths. Inhale, come back to center, pause and then walk over to your right side as far as you can go. Press into your right hand and reach with your left fingertips. So you're opening up your intercostal muscles, the muscles between the ribs all along the left side of your body. And keep reaching with your left fingertips. Stretch open even more. Take one more breath. Come back to center and pause, child's pose, for just a moment. Press yourself up to all fours. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Cat and cow, inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, round your back like a cat, look back. Do that again, inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, round your back, look back. Third time's the charm. Inhale, drop your belly, gaze up. Exhale, round your back, gaze, we call it drishti, right back to your navel. Pull your belly in, round a little bit more. Release, come back to center, pause. Bring your right hand down, right in the middle of your mat. Inhale, lift your left arm up to the sky. Open up your chest. Good. Take a deep breath. Release and switch. Left hand down. Right hand up. And both hands down to the ground. Shake it out a little. Now lift your right hand back up and underneath, cross your right arm underneath your left. Come onto your right ear. Thread the needle. So you can stay right here. Use your left hand as support, but let your weight go into your right shoulder. And if you feel balanced, like you don't need the support, you can bring your left hand behind your back. So here you're opening up your right shoulder and just let your weight be there and take a few deep breaths. You can close your eyes or keep your gaze on your right thumb. Take a few deep breaths. 
you're using body weight to slowly open up connective tissue. Bring your left hand back to the ground. Inhale, come back to center. And shake it out. Left hand underneath right. Come onto your left shoulder, hips towards the sky. Again, you can use your right hand for support or you can reach your right arm up and around. There's no right or wrong. Just take a few deep breaths right here. Deep breath in, full breath out. Return your right hand to the earth and slowly press yourself back up to all fours. Now shake out your wrist, tuck your toes, and spread out your fingers. So we're gonna go into downward facing dog, but first start with the foundation. So imagine that you're clawing your mat, right? Press into each and every fingertip and each and every knuckle. Like you're gonna claw your mat right away from the earth. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Now gaze right back between your feet. Remember it's called drishti. Your drishti is where you look, it's also how you look. Come back to your breath. Remember it's called unjayi. Breathe in and out through your nose. And since we're at the aquarium, it's important to mention that ujjayi breath is also called ocean breath because it sounds like an ocean wave. So fill up and empty out. Good, breathe in. Exhale, empty. Walk your hands to your feet. Take your time and slowly walk your hands back until you're in a forward fold. Soften the backs of your knees, grab opposite hand to opposite elbow, and shake your head out, yes and no. We'll melt your chest towards the tops of your thighs. You can bend your knees a little or a lot if you have a lot of tightness in your hamstring. Sway a little side to side, release your arms like a jellyfish. Hands to the floor, bring your feet together. Press down, inhale, rise up to stand. Mountain pose, exhale, hands to your heart. Pause, press down into the floor. And take a big wide stance on your mat. Bring your feet as wide as you can and still stand up tall. So lift the front of your pelvis and tuck your tailbone down so that your spine is in alignment and your core is engaged. Turn your right toes to the front of your mat and come into warrior two. Bend your front knee, stack your knee over your ankle and then arms out, shoulder height. Always peek back at your left hand to see if it's behaving. Or roll your shoulders back and then sink more into your right knee. The warrior two starts to activate all of the big muscles in your body. Right, you're using your quads, you're using your hamstrings, you're using your belly. And sink low into your knee, flip your palm. Shanti, peaceful warrior, reach up and back. Side angle, bring your right forearm to your right thigh and your left hand to your hip to start. So right here, you can stay. This is a perfectly great place to stay. My invitation is either bring your arm perpendicular or parallel to your thigh. Just make sure you're not doing something lazy, right? It's active and intentional. Pull your upper arm bones back. Now lift your left hand all the way up towards the ceiling. And you can stay right here. If you wanna deepen this a little bit more, you can bring your right hand down to the ground. It's all about finding a place that you can still breathe. So bring your gaze up or down to your right big toe. And you might be feeling your right thigh right about now. I am. Take a deep breath. Press into your feet. Rise up to stand. 
turn all 10 of your toes in again. I'm the queen of the dance party, so if you wanna shake it out, shake it out. Go right to the left side and turn your left toes to the back of your mat. Bend your left knee, warrior two. We'll roll your shoulders back, lift the front of your pelvis, tuck your tailbone, lunge into your left knee. And gaze right over your left fingertips. And we're getting in again to big muscles, so sometimes that means we shake or start to sweat. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Shanti Virabhasana, peaceful warrior. Bring the peace from within, take a deep breath. Side angle, left forearm to your thigh, right hand to your hip. So start here. You can wiggle in a little, swish and sway and find your deepest lunge. Then lift your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Gaze up to your top thumb. I like to bring my pointer finger and thumb together. It's a mudra. Look up, take a deep breath. Lunge a little deeper into your front knee. Press into your feet. Rise up to stand. Turn your toes in and slowly walk your feet in towards each other. Shake it out a little bit. So we'll come into a couple of balancing poses and stand tall and get into your feet first. Lift and spread all 10 of your toes and ground down into the four corners of your feet. Eagle pose, bring your right elbow underneath your left. So you wanna bring as much intention as you can here. And if your arms don't go together like this, you can grab opposite hand to opposite shoulder. We'll start with your arms and then bend your knees. Take your right foot up and over for eagle pose. So you can bring your right foot to rest on the ground or you can use it to wrap around your left leg. Hug in. Lift your elbows a little higher. Take a deep breath. Unwind. Roll your shoulders back, stand tall and switch sides, left arm under. So opposite arm and legs. Left arm under, shoulder height, arms back. Left leg up and over. So remember, you can start right here with a kickstand. Right, hug in from skin to muscle to bone. And if you've got balance, you can start to wrap your foot around your leg. Take a couple of breaths. Don't be afraid to fall out of the pose. And unwind. Roll your shoulders back, shake it out. Tree pose, bring your right foot to your left leg. So a lot of times you'll hear teachers say anywhere but your knee. You don't wanna put extra pressure there, but it's okay if your toes touch your knee. You can start with your ankle, you can come to your shin, or you can bring your foot all the way up to your thigh. And just feel what works best in your body, hands to your heart. And breathe. Once you're steady, you can open up your arms and grow your tree any way you wanna grow it. If you're feeling particularly balanced, you can close your eyes. <laughs> I obviously wasn't. <laughs> Shake it out and we'll switch. Right foot down, lift and spread your toes, ground down your roots. Bring your left foot to your right leg. So find the foundation of hugging into your center line first. Right, press your palms together, press your left foot into your right leg and your right leg into your left foot. And then grow your tree. Keep breathing. Keep your gaze at one place. Grow a little bit taller. Exhale, hands to heart. Release and shake it out. Take your feet wide again. Come back to that wide stance. Right, both feet facing forward. Then turn your right toes out, perpendicular, warrior two. So you've been here, you know where to go. Stack your knee over your ankle, gaze out over your right thumb, flip your palm, reverse. This time, straighten your right leg. 
reach up, take a deep breath in, triangle pose, reach forward and down. So if you have blocks, you can use a block here Right, to bring your hand a little closer to the floor or the floor closer to your hand. If you don't have a block at home, let your hand rest wherever it lands. It's not important to touch the floor. Keep your heart higher than your hips and look up. I like a block here. I can reach the floor, but this feels better. Pull your arm bones back and gaze up to your top thumb. Pull your shoulder blades together. Open up your chest any amount more. Press into your feet and rise to stand. You've got a block, hands to your hips. So bring your feet like 11s or slightly turn your toes in towards each other, like pigeon toed. Lift up your chest, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, start to bow forward. Well, bring your hands down to a block, to the floor. If the floor feels like it's really far away, you can even bring your feet a little wider. Start to drop your hands and your head down towards the earth. Shift your weight forward into the balls of your feet and allow your head to hang heavy. Take one more breath right here. Fill all the way up. Exhale all the way out. Walk your feet in a little, hands to your hips. Inhale, rise up to stand. We'll turn your right toes forward and step your back foot in. Shake it out a little. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, high plank. Pause. Remember, you can always lower your knees. Press the earth away, shoulder blades back, drop your knees, and lower all the way down onto your belly. Now, when you get here, take your knees side to side, like windshield wipers. And come into upward facing dog. Bring your hands, thumbs right in line with your chest, palms down on the ground. Press the tops of your feet into your mat. And on your inhale, lift your chest up. Roll your upper arm bones back. Press the tops of your feet into your mat. And lift your thighs and shins up off of the floor. Roll your arm bones back. Look up. Take a deep breath in. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. So walk your dog. Bend one knee, bend the other. Fill up your lungs, come forward high plank, drop your knees, lower all the way down to your belly. Good, press the tops of your feet down. Upward facing dog, lift your chest, look up. Press the tops of your feet down. You can look back over your shoulder at your left ankle, and back over your right shoulder at your right ankle. Come back to center, tuck your toes down dog. Fill your lungs all the way up. Empty your lungs all the way out. Good, do that again. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring your right knee to your right wrist for half pigeon. So here, bring your left leg straight out behind you and as much as you can, take your knee to the right. Now lift up your chest. If you feel like you're falling over onto your right hip, you can use a block or a pillow or anything off of your couch, a blanket to prop you up. Now lift up your chest and you can stay right here. This is a great place to be in pigeon or you can bow forward, melt towards the ground. Drop your head and turn on your breath. We stay in poses like pigeon a little bit longer so that we can get into the connective tissue, especially in our hips, and release a little bit more tension. We want to stay a little longer to let it happen. I take a few breaths right here. And 
one more deep breath in. Empty your breath out. Walk your hands back up towards your hips. Tuck your back toes under. Come back into down dog. Lift up. Walk it out. Half pigeon on your left. Bring your left knee wide to your left wrist. Your right leg straight out behind you. Take a peek at it. Mine's not always where I think it is. Lift up your chest. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bow forward. And surrender towards your mat. And surrender is not giving up. Surrender is letting go. Letting go of tension, letting go of what doesn't serve you. Can you consciously let go of tightness in your hips or in your jaw or in your shoulders right now? Take a few more breaths. Inhale, walk yourself back up and just swing your right leg around in front. So keep your left knee bent. John Yushir Shasana, head to knee pose. Your head does not have to touch your knee. Lift up your chest. Flex your right toes, and as you exhale, bow forward. So if you can reach your foot, that's great. And if you can't reach your foot, that's great. Just melt your chest towards your thigh until you feel a big stretch all along the right back of your leg. And take a couple of breaths right here. Inhale, walk your hands back in and switch your feet. Right foot in, left leg long, lift up your chest. Exhale, walk out, forward, bow. Pull your toes back towards your shin. Lengthen the back of your left leg. And walk yourself back up to seated. Take both feet out in front. Shake them out a little bit. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. So lift up your chest on your inhale. And on your exhale, you can reach your arms up if you like this way better. Start to bow forward, reach for your feet. Grab your feet, grab your ankles, grab your shins, wherever they land. Well, Paschimottanasana means intense west stretch. West is the back side of your body, not just your legs. So you wanna feel this all the way in your back. And if you can't, bend your knees a little bit. Let the stretch come out of just your hamstrings and take over the whole back side of your body. And take a couple of deep breaths right here. And slowly rise back up to seated. Grab a block or a pillow or something from home. Come onto your back. And you're going to place this block right underneath your sacrum. Lift your feet straight up towards the sky. All right, we're at the aquarium, so waterfall feels appropriate. Spread your toes. Pull your toes back towards your shins. Take a few deep breaths right here. slowly lower down onto your mat. If you've still got a block or a pillow, keep it close by. We're gonna come into fish and I'll show you fish without support first. Bring your hands underneath your sit bones. Press into your forearms, lift up your chest. Drop your head back and point your toes. Matsyas in fish pose. If you have a block at home, this is my favorite. Put the block right underneath Lay your head back, toes pointed, drop your head back and breathe. Fish pose is good for building resilience in our throat and for our respiratory system. When we're surrounded by fish, <laughs> take a deep breath. 
chin towards your chest first, rise up. Slowly lower all the way down onto your back. Bend your knees, arms out like a T. Drop your knees to your left and your gaze to your right. Simple reclined twist. Come back to center and twist the other way. back to center, hug your knees in. Thank yourself for showing up. Extend your legs out long on your mat. Roll your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and rest Shavasana. Start to wiggle fingers, toes. Roll your hands around your wrists and your feet around your ankles. Bend your knees, give yourself a hug. Rock yourself up to your seat. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to your heart. Silent acknowledgement and gratitude. Thank yourself for showing up, for doing the work, for being in a place of healing and taking great care of yourself. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center. Divine light in me sees and honors the divine light in you. Namaste. Namaste.